Good morning, Quad Copter 101 here, and uh, another neat flight for you today. I'm out here in the desert test site. It's a weekend here. I can fly here. So, uh, what I am going to do today with the DJI Bugs 2W is I want to fly it pretty dang far. You know, this thing's supposed to have a 800 to 1,000 meters range. Well, I'm going to fly it as far as I can visually see it. And I'm going to, you know, this tells you how far away it is, by the way. Um, there is telemetry there. It tells you the altitude and, you know, the height of the quadcopter, along with the distance it is flying from you. So we'll see how far I can get it. I'm going to take it out to at least 300 meters, I hope, to be able to see it at 300 meters. We'll see how far I can see it, as far as I can visually maintain sight. And then we'll do a return to home from there, an automatic return to home. So we'll do some long distance flying, some fast long distance flying. I'm gonna send it out there pretty damn fast because this is a fast flyer. That's the neat thing I like about this quadcopter. It is fast. Even with the G as being a GPS quadcopter, it's one of the fastest GPS quadcopters I know of. <laughs> there was one other, what was that? The CX-22? <sighs> that was a fast quadcopter, but an expensive quadcopter and I don't think it's being made anymore. But, okay, let's fire this up and send it out far. Hope you enjoy this flight. But starting the motors back up again. And still recording. I am. Let's take to the air, automatic takeoff. And I want to go above the elevation, the direction I'm going, or intending to go, uh, the elevation goes up a bit. So I'm going to take it up a bit higher, right about there. And... Ready, set, let's go. Fast forward flying. And I'm gonna have to go up higher too. I gotta keep it above the mountains in the in the distance there. So that I can see it. Going up and away. <laughs> I can still see it. Okay, let's stop it right there first. First off, that'll be its first point of flight. How far am I away? Uh, 237 meters going back out and going up a little higher too going further 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 away stopping it there 334 meters I can still see it and letting it sit there for a second going up a bit higher so and then going out again Pitching forward, this thing goes out fast, folks. It's a fast flyer. Okay, it's getting close to the mountain edge, right there. Let me, so I don't lose sight on it. 445 meters, and right now it is very hard to see, folks. <laughs> Going out a little bit farther. Can I make it to 500 meters is the question. Yeah, right about there. It's a little dot, 553 meters, and I could just barely see it. Okay, I'm going to do an automatic return to home from there. 553 meters away. That's, I'm getting nervous now. And 545, 538, so it is coming back. I hit the return to home button. Automatic return to home. Um, I lost um, FPV long ago. The FPV signal doesn't last that long. But yes, this is a long distance flyer that you can fly line of sight long distance. Um, it's not a uh, long distance flyer in terms of FPV. You ain't going to get that range with uh, Wi Fi. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, unless they gave, give you a repeater. You know, if, I think there's a professional version. Maybe they're thinking of including a repeater, a uh, Wi Fi repeater, so you can get this super long range. But. Here it comes back all on its own. Such a neat quadcopter, I'll tell you folks. Coming directly overhead. And we'll let it bring itself down and then I'm gonna stop it just before it lands because we're gonna do another long distance flight. I'm gonna fly, try to skim the ground out to about 300 meters, 200, 300 meters. And from there, I'm going to do an arc around the area, since this does have still quite a bit of uh, flying power to it. Now, I'm not gain regaining the FPV signal on the screen there, if you notice. So, here it comes down to its landing from where it took off. 
it's actually pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. Let's stop it there. Oop, I'll let it land. Um, let's start this. Uh, okay, we stopped the video. No, we haven't stopped the video. Let's stop the video right now. And on top of that, let's restart the app again so we can get FPV again. I'm going to stop MOBAs in recording. And I'm going to restart the app. There we go. We should have signal again. Yeah, there we got FPV signal again. I'm starting up. Mob is in again. And starting the recording again. Recording video again. Taking to the air again. Starting the motors. Going back into the air. This is manual takeoff this time. I'm going to be flying close to the ground. Distant and close to the ground. There's a road off, off in that distance there. There should be a road around this area where I'm going. I'm doing a long distant arc around the area is what I'm doing right now. I should be flying over a road over there. Going up a little bit higher. Got the mountains blocking my view of the quadcopter. Turning to the right a bit since it's moving to the right. When you're flying line of sight, observe which direction the quadcopter is moving. And if it's turning to the right, all you need to do is keep turning it to the right. I heard one beep out there because I'm flying low. Well, I'm going to fly it over my head quickly. <laughs> Pretty neat quadcopter. Bugs too. Whoa. Much battery power. I got a lot of battery power still left. This is a wonderful quadcopter, folks. Um, you know, people compare it to the H501. They shouldn't. The H501 is more a strictly camera bird. Uh, this high speed ability of this thing makes this more of a, <laughs> I don't know what you call it, sport camera bird. Wonderful flyer. Okay. Had a beep there. Probably had a momentary loss of signal. Hello again. Wonderful camera quadcopter. Wonderful GPS flyer too. I had to come down lower. Still at three bars. So it's not telling me to return to home yet. It beeps actually when it gets down to two bars and you're out at over 100 meters. It'll beep saying, hey, come back. And then if you don't listen to it, it will come back on its own. Supposedly. <laughs> Let's take it up higher. A wonderful quadcopter. Bugs 2W. I really like this thing. Going up higher. Circling my position. Fifty-seven meters up. We'll go up to about a hundred. Wonderful, wonderful flyer. And coming back down from way up there. We are 100 meters up and descending. Large arc over the area. This is the neatest thing I've had in a while. <laughs> Neatest quadcopter. What is that? There's a bird of prey up there and I hope he's not coming after me. There is a bird of prey up there. I don't think he can keep up with me to tell you the truth. <laughs> what the heck is that? Is that a California condor over there over my head? I'm gonna let him go by. See that big bird? 
I think that's a California condor. Huge bird. I can actually chase him with this, can I? This has the range. Ah, I'm not going to do it though, folks. <laughs> Let him alone. I think those condors are endangered if that is a condor. Okay, I'm coming down low again. Reducing the throttle. Bring it back down. And bring it in. Wonderful quadcopter. How much battery power? I still got a lot of battery power. Holy moly, this thing flies a long time. Well, how do you like my shirt today, folks? Ah, Bugs 2. Bugs 2W. Well, I guess the Bugs 2C is capable of doing what I just did today. You know, keep in mind, I'm not flying very much with this Wi-Fi. I'm not using the Wi-Fi FPV. So if you don't... You don't really need the Wi-Fi FPV. We got wind. That's why it's bouncing around. If you don't need Wi-Fi FPV, maybe you don't need the W model. The C model might be just for you. Um, if you can, if you know how to maintain line of sight flying. That's what I was doing mostly today. Is line, that was what I was doing all throughout the whole flight. Line of sight flying. I was able to maintain distance there uh, because I was able to keep eye on the quadcopter. Again, if you lose visual sight of the quadcopter, uh, you can do a quick return to home. And it will return to home for you. Uh, so, you know, it's it's not important to have Wi-Fi or FPV with this quadcopter. Um, again, I was maintaining line of sight on it. And I was controlling it strictly through line of sight. If it was moving to the right, all I had to do to bring it back to me is turn right. If it was moving to the left in the distance while pushing forward on the throttle or on the pitch roll stick, all I had to do was turn left to bring it back to word me. And it did such very well. So... That's a quick flight of this thing. I'm not going to fly it till the battery dies because I still got three bars of battery. Well, let's do one more flight out and bot because it is an enjoyable quadcopter. One more flight out. So actually, let's bring it in close and do that. Okay, there we go. Two bars, two battery bars. It gives you that warning. Let's actually see if it brings itself back home on two bars. Let's go out past 100 meters or out to, well, just short of 100 meters. Okay, 120 meters away. Let's see if it actually does a return to home. Is it going to return to home? <laughs> I'm not sure it does a return to home, folks. It doesn't seem to be doing it. So, and I'm feeling uncomfortable. So I'm going to bring it back in manually. But it does warn you. It gives you plenty of warning. Hear that beeping? I still got two bars of battery. So you get plenty of warning. I wouldn't trust the return to home on its own uh, on battery, low battery, to tell you the truth, folks. But if you hear the beeping, land it, bring it in, and land it. Like I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to manually land it. Wonderful quadcopter. Butt in, put it over the pad. Where's that landing button? Yeah, land it. Good enough. <laughs> so, wonderful, wonderful quadcopter this thing is. I like the Bugs too. And again, you don't need the Wi-Fi version. The camera version's fine. So, that was the flight of the Bugs too. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.